I started making my own clothes when I was 14. Fell in love with Savile Row, started interning in tailoring um, when I was 15. And every summer we thought, as soon as there's a women's wear tailor, I would really like to work for her on Savile Row. But for 200 years, it was just men's wear tailoring. Fast forward a few years and Phoebe opened the first women's wear tailors on the iconic London street. One thing that they all had in common is they would all come in and say, high street sizing is so bad. I don't think we can trust high street sizing at the moment. So I think being able to just go by how it looks and forget about the number is always my go-to. <laughs> if you can reduce the returns, that would be ideal if uh, sizing was standard, would help. Might be looking at a size eight for something else and then it might be a size 10 in something completely different. And it can be disheartening. Yeah. When you like think that you're Jeans one size. Jeans in particular, I, yeah. I mean, I have larger hips. Finding the perfect pair of jeans that fit is a challenge I'm sure many women can sympathise with. And that's because there's no universal sizing, meaning that a size 10 can be too big or too small. Too big, more of a snug fit. I'm going to struggle to get these done up. Also far too big. They're snug, not so much room. It's just so hard to get a pair of jeans that fit. So we put it to the test with six pairs of jeans, all in the supposed same size. We're going to measure them. OK, so that one's coming out at 40 centimetres. Mm -hmm. And the smallest one here coming out at 33. Yeah, so that's a seven centimetre difference on the half, which means it's 14 centimetre difference on you know, the full circumference. And in fashion, four centimetres is a size. So 14 centimetres difference means there's three and a half sizes different between the biggest and the smallest size 28 gene in front of us. Phoebe founded the Fit Collective, a tech startup that uses AI to help brands solve the clothing sizing problem. As far as we know, we're the first solution that is really comparing all of their manufacturing data, that's called PLM data, and all of their commercials. So we're the first solution that's looking at when you make a dress that is has a neckline this deep or a sleeve that long or a length that long or a hem that wide, how do your customers actually feel about it? And so comparing this huge data set of PLM data and commercial data is the first time that now you can actually see where those threads are and be able to pull on changing this small thing is going to have this huge financial impact. The average return rate for clothing bought online is around 50% and it's this data that's extremely useful. So you've got transactions, which people bought two sizes. Did half the people keep the bigger size and half the people keep the smaller size or did everyone keep the bigger size? You've got returns and you've got reasons why they returned and also written commentary about why people are returning. And you've got reviews and you've got customer service emails. Fit Collective takes all of this data to drill down into how each garment is performing using artificial intelligence to read, summarise and analyse all the feedback from customers. Crucially, the tech solution means that you can wrap all of that up and deliver it in a really succinct message to the production team. For example, take five centimetres off the length of this jumpsuit to reduce the returns by 4%, which is going to save you £312,000. You know, being able to distill all of that data, all of that feedback into a single sentence that they can take action on in 30 seconds. Fit Collective is now working with about 10 brands. I can see those contracts growing significantly over time. And then that's going to bring a lot more brands into using Fit Collective. It's quite a small industry. People in the fashion industry uh, often move around. They talk to each other. When something works, everybody wants a bit of it. And so I see that as being uh, the growth vector for Fit Collective. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're working with 100 brands in a year's time. And a number of high street retailers are already putting the tech to the test. Me and M, Bowden and Rixo to name a few. So what have they found out since deploying the AI? Halter necks are our highest returning neckline type. We can then take that straight back to our um, garment tech team and they can then definitely look into all the patterns of our halter necks and understand, okay, is it from a particular supplier? Is it a particular fabrication? Is it just a cut of a halter neck that's too severe? Bridal as well, we've really changed our strategy from the data we've got from Fit Collective that it was actually really unprofitable online. Um, so we've tweaked that strategy so it's more of an in-store experience only. And then we've learned that our US customers as well actually need more Fit guidance um, than our UK customer. But some say the fashion industry is a bit more complicated and believe there should be more wiggle room. 
each designer, each retailer has its own interpretation of what the shape, the, the fit, the size should be. Some will like a more comfortable fit. Some will like a tighter, more body hugging fit. That's part of their, that's part of their interpretation of the fabric and the trends of the season. So. A lot of UK designers that sell very successfully in Japan, for example, we work with many of them over the years, have to re redesign their collections completely because the, the body shape in different parts of the world is different. Take action. But that won't stop Phoebe. The Fit Collective is on track to expand. Ultimately, the biggest um, bonus is that we've had a really big financial impact for our brands. So some of the brands we've been working with the longest have had a 10% reduction in their return rate since this time last year, which is really fantastic. And that's kind of returns are increasing for all brands year on year. So to have such a big impact has been really powerful and just shows what we're capable of.